think that this house is really sort of a culmination of who I am at this point in my life. I'm a girl from a small town in Utah. Very simple beginnings. I grew up in a farming community. However, I was taken out of, or I moved from that environment and lived overseas for 18 years. And I think that this sort of was a bit of a culmination of all those different parts of me. And I think that that is maybe why we ended up here. We rented this house that we ended up purchasing and we fell in love with the land. It's between two tributaries of the Rome. But of course it was in a very basic state. We knew this house was going to be a big project. I didn't realize it would be as big of a project as it turned out to be. Once we met um, Alexander Lafourcade and his team, and he started sharing his vision, we really saw the potential of the house. My challenge was to do all these transformations, to realize all these transformations, sans qu'on puisse penser qu'elles aient été réalisées. Donc, euh, comme si ça avait été comme ça depuis euh, la nuit des temps. J'espère que les gens qui visiteront cette maison et qui la découvriront pourront penser que c'est extraordinaire d'avoir euh, trouvé une maison comme ça qui a été, euh, qui n'a jamais été touchée depuis l'origine. He could see. He had a vision for this project from the start. And he said to me, I, I grew up here, I've never been here, I can't believe you're so close to the beautiful papal city of Avignon. You're just 10 minutes away, and yet it's complete privacy. You can't see another building from the property. We're here alone on 65 acres, and yet we're so close to Michelin star restaurants and Villeneuve les Avignon and Avignon and beautiful hotels and our access is, is fantastic. We're 10 minutes from a TGV station that can take us to Paris in two and a half hours. The location is really, really perfect. When we first rented this house, we were here with our children and it was pear picking season. And that was, to me, such a beautiful experience. So I'm so happy to have a pear orchard. Well, here eating is an event, and it's, it's, it's not only social, it's where so many things are exchanged. So if it's a beautiful day at the pool, then hey, let's do lunch or dinner at the pool. And, and if you're going out for, uh, to, to tour some of the beautiful sites of, of the, the countryside, then we'll pack you a picnic. We buy from local area growers and farmers and, and organic uh, people that take real pride in what they're doing. That's what Provence is about. It's eating great food with beautiful weather, weather outside and nothing provides more shade in, in a more beautiful setting than a large Provence plane tree. This property has 75 200 year old plane trees. I don't know what it is about time in Provence, but when I come here, time just slips away. You know, now that the project is finished, and I'm here and my family comes to visit. You know, I do stop and think about, wow, how did this happen? How did this enormous project happen? And I can't believe that we're here.